Good morning. <laughs> Welcome to Writer's Right. Uh, I feel like I was running. I'm, I'm right on time though, but I was running around a bit. It is raining outside and I'm in the city. I am, <laughs> to me the city is a big bowl, but I'm on like the northern side and I, I looked out, I could hear it was raining. And I looked out, ah, yeah, everything's wet. I'm, I'm running around getting ready. I look out again and it's snow. <laughs> but by the time I'm like, I have to take a picture. By the time I got my phone and everything, um, it, it was still snowish, but then it was more like snowish rain. So it was snowing. What? This has been um, an odd week, a lot odd couple weeks for our weather. It's because it was, uh, it got into the 70s there, but that was a few days back. So. You get it all here sometimes. <laughs> anyway, hope you're doing good. How's the weather in your part of the world? Let me um, get some of my housekeeping here going with my chat box so I can always have to open it. I can put it the right size. This is, uh, this is Friday. Friday! Let's see. I hope you're ready to write. Yay! We're in the chat. See that pop up? It did! Yay! All right. Oh, let me put a shout out to our background music. It's from the YouTube channel. <laughs> I spelled YouTube with, with a U. Yeah, I guess that would work, but. Technically not correct. Stream of melodies. This is what I used last time, so it just popped up. That works. How have you been, been since last we spoke and met up to be creative? I hope you're well. And this finds you ready to write. Because, um, I'm about ready myself. All right. It's working. Hey, Sergio. Good morning. Okay, wait. Let's wait. Join my music. Let's see. I don't know. All right. It is working. Groovy. Hi, Serge. I, I imagine you're not dealing with snow where you live. At least not today. It's mostly rain here, but I did look out and see snow briefly. It's snowy rain. <laughs> and it's a uh, garbage day. So both of my garbage cans are out there with the lids open. I'm, uh, I'm assuming they're empty. <laughs> hey, Victoria. Good to see you. So I was gonna run out and then I noticed the time and said I can't run out so they're gonna fill with some water which probably isn't bad they get a little bath <laughs> I'll, I'll save the water and dump it on some of the plants or something I guess the water would have just gone down the drain anyhow but happy to see some friendly faces here or I should say friendly names I assume you're here like me to get something done. We're going to write today. I'm going to be extra focused because uh, I have felt unfocused most of this week. And it doesn't mean I haven't been productive. I always find something to do. I have, like I said, I have too many chunky rain. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I almost ran out in it. And then I was like, why, why am I doing that? I mean, so... It, the trash cans fill with some water. Uh, it's not the end of the world. They're plastic. They'll survive. I can upend them, right? <laughs> no snow in Miami. That's good and bad, right? It's sad. No snow. Oh, that that's a good book title. No snow in Miami. But it's bleeding. The cover's bleeding blood. I don't know. I just see these things. 
they, they're not all gems. <laughs> all right, we've got 25 minutes on the clock. As always, let's make the most of them. On your mark, get set, right. I was gonna say be creative, but you can do both. Let's see if the timer works today. I did shut it down and back up. I'm gonna leave the curse over there. All right, happy writing, guys. I am actually gonna jump so into this today. gonna talk to myself a little bit <laughs> oh my gosh I, I am not awake enough I will tell you that I guess it was because of the rain because I, I, I think it's been raining for a while um, uh, I think I woke up about an hour before I should have uh, gotten up and I'm like I'm just going back to bed and the rain helped so I just I clunked so hard that time that uh, I can see a hair sticking out um, that I definitely was dead to the world there for a bit, which means I'm really not quite awake. <laughs> I'm just going to pump up my font. <laughs> you ever do that? I mean, I know I can just zoom in. Well, I'll, I'll be able to see really fine in about an hour. <laughs> and the coffee. The coffee will help. <laughs> okay.
<laughs> it's yours. It's yours, Sergio. You can have that title. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, by the way, while you're working. I appreciate it. You're a true buddy. A dedicated um, creative. I feel like maybe it, you're, you're soaking it in so that it, it urges you to work when you have the chance, right? Hope everything's going well with building your website or your YouTube site. And now you rebranded it, which is always smart to dial in what you're doing. It's snowing outside. Well, rainy, snowy. Yet, I still feel allergies. <laughs> cool. Hey, Allie, how are you? I'm focused this morning. <laughs> right oh Sergio in the matrix that's a cool title for a site Serge I love that it gives you you can do a lot with that anyway good to see you guys here um, thanks for joining Allie I imagine you're probably studying I hope you found some time to write though lately you're a busy woman moms Moms that write, we should have a club. Moms that write. 
Um, when my son was little, I, you know, it's a lot harder to write when they're little. You've got to pick your, pick your moments. <laughs> and I imagine it's harder now. But I think you said school was back. Who's focused? I was focused until you and Sergio started talking to me. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, I'm gonna go back to it. I'm like in here. I'm, I'm finishing up this um, script. Uh, my my next podcast. Uh, my this one, lyric. I'm finishing up uh, number five. Yes, I'm gonna focus. I want to finish this. You're in, yeah. <laughs> Moms. Moms unite! Mom's on the run or something like that. I'm losing. I can't spell great this morning. But, thanks to spell check, I can fix it. Victoria should be happy to hear that. Well, Victoria won't proof this. This I read. You know, this will turn into a book. So, yeah. <laughs> so Victoria probably will have to proof it eventually. More work for Victoria. <laughs> and the unfocused, the unfocused Anne. Um, my last name that I write, uh, it's my professional name is Kimbrough. So you can call me Kim. You can call me pretty much anything. <laughs> um. Yeah, a lot of people call me Kim. Actually, Kimbro is a family name that was my middle name. It's a family last name that when I was born, I was Ann Kimbro, um, and then another name that I don't use. And I just don't state it because it doesn't matter. But uh, it, it's hard to say. So when I had a professional name, I decided I would just use Kimbro. Because it technically is a given name. It's just not the given surname. <laughs> and then I write with a lot of pen names. Like, uh, um, what name did I use for this? Oh, I am, for Lyric the Podcast, I am using Anne Kimbrough. But uh, for all my cozy mysteries, I'm using Anne Audrey. And I've written under Anne McGinnis and many Anne's. That's a whole bunch of me. <laughs> I really wanted to have a pen name for very different uh, kind of books because I didn't want someone going to read a children's book and find a romance novel. So, But it got confusing, so I've tried to streamline it. And now I'm Anne the Focused. <laughs> like medieval names. You know, that your name is sort of what you do. So I'm Anne the Writer. Ann and Ryder. I'd have to spell it R-I-D-E-R. -E ah, cool. Hey, Tim. Hey, better late than never. Uh, with me, you're never late. Welcome, welcome. Jump right in. We've got, uh, I guess we got some serious time. You can get, get your feet wet with your writing. I love Allie Alexis. It's very pretty. And of course, I already told you, I like that last name, Spriggs. Cool. All right. And the focused, or and the writer, the focused writer. <laughs> I'm usually very focused. It's just fun to talk to you guys. Uh, it's the community of writers. I love that part. Very inspires, inspiring and motivating. Okay. Okay, I know where this is going. Drawn.
true. You have your mother's last name, and I and Audrey. When I use Audrey, Audrey is my mom's first name. <laughs> hey, well, Victoria, you still have four good minutes. Don't give up. What's your, what's been your distraction, though? Thank you, Audrey's pretty. Oh, and look, she spelled it like this. If I find my cursor here. She spelled it that way. You know, I've never seen her birth certificate, so I don't know if she always, if it's, it's probably not that way on her birth certificate, but... Her older sister was probably one of the most creative people I've ever known. The woman was a phenomenal painter, sewer. She, and she would paint on fabric and create all these clothes. She was my Auntie Mame, if you know that character. Because uh, that's the only character I could even pick that would be her. And uh, a fun, wonderful woman. And very creative. So I have a feeling she was the one that said, Hey, ditch the Y and do two E's. <laughs> So I really like it um, because I think it looks even, you know, it's sort of unique. So it looks even better. But thank you. Yeah, I just, I love honoring her that way. Uh, I figured it out after she had passed, but I didn't really start writing those books either until after. But she was an avid reader. Um, and in her, probably the last five years of her life, she was kind of, indisposed quite a bit so she uh, she listened to audiobooks all the time so she was uh, very supportive and uh, she would love to be included in my writing that way I'm sure so and I'm sure you probably have similar reasons for tapping into family stuff but well, we all do it's just it's nice it's nice to include them In spite of chatting so much with you, I am making progress. <laughs> Sorry, Victoria. You will make progress, girl. You will. That's great. Ah, well, that's a wonderful reason. And I think if you can incorporate a name you like in your life with your writing, that's even easier. I mean, for me, having uh, go, to go by a name that really isn't my legal name could cause issues, but what you gonna do? 
what you gonna do when they come for you? <laughs> you can tell I can't sing. That's okay. Um. Ah, I hear you. You're a smart girl. You're protecting yourself in a very clever and beautiful way, I, I think. All right, we did our first sprint is done. That's my sprinter. Okay. How did you do? For those of us riding, <laughs> for those of us talking, we did really good. Um, I had fun talking, but I also did uh, some work here. Um, I'm just right at the very end of this uh, script. It's only going to be about 14-ish, 15 pages long, which is plenty long. You try to think a minute a page, so 15 minutes. I've been going anywhere from about 15. Well, I think 12 to 25, 28 minutes are my, are these episodes. But and even if you start with like a 15 minute something, by the time you add in sound effects and stuff, uh, it's longer. It's a bit longer. So this is good. Uh, I need to <laughs> need to finish it. <laughs> I mean, I need to tie it up. It needs to end here pretty soon. But. Um, I did find some stuff that could go into it based on I, I pulled from something old. So I need to read through that and see what will be included. It's interesting. I changed all the names in this story from when I wrote it years ago. It's, it's much changed in a good way, as it should be, right? Anyway, I hope you made some really good progress on our first writing sprint. Um, I've almost finished my coffee. So this is definitely where I need that coffee machine. I've seriously thought of it. I don't think it, it would have to go here. I mean, I do still use that printer from time to time, but it's ancient. Well, in the sense of it's just really basic and it's hardwired into that computer. So I guess I could put a, I could put a coffee machine here. Bring, the, bring my cream up with me every time. So I could be here with you in my break. I could uh, make the next cup. And then I could bounce off the walls because I have my coffee, my coffee. <laughs> see, I'm, I, I, my eyes just kind of opened up. I can already see better. Oh my gosh, my print's so big. <laughs> I'll have to make it normal again. Just joking, it's not that big. No, like the print I copied off, I don't know what I'd work on it before. It was like 11 point. Of course, now I put it up to 16. <laughs> yeah, it's a little big. But I can see it. That's all that matters, Anne, as long as you don't feel stupid. As long as I don't admit to people that I have to pump up the point to 16 to see it, that's okay. Well, I only have to do that until I wake up, and I'm awake now. <laughs> All right, let's see. We should jump right back into it. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling pumped up from the first sprint. And hopefully you are too, even if you joined it late. You know, you, you got your feet wet. You're like, I'm here. You've opened up the programs you need to work on. Your brain's turned on. Might not be shooting on all cylinders yet, but you're there, right? Let's see, something popped up. Oh, cool. That's smart. Well, I can't, I have no problem running down and getting coffee and coming back, but you know, I don't want to leave you guys alone. <laughs> it's a road trip. <laughs> Brilliant. That's very smart. Yeah. I mean, I have, I got a new coffee machine, a, a new Keurig single one. I really like it. it. You can set, you know, how many ounces there's like three choices of how much coffee it gives out, which is cool. And um, so I have the old one, which is perfectly fine, that I could put right here. And it's red. It's the same color of red I'm going with. <laughs> so we'll see. It seems quite indulgent to do that. But who, if I'm not going to indulge me, who else is? And it'll give you guys something to make fun of if you want. I don't mind teasing. A little teasing is very healthy. <laughs> but what I want most of all is for you to be uh, productive. Let's go sprint. Oh, you could say I could go during the sprint. I could. I could. <clears throat> but then I wouldn't be riding. 
I'd be coughing. <laughs> this is why it used to be better to do it during uh, at a coffee shop, but you know. All right. Good solutions though. I appreciate that. All right. Ready? We're going to go right back into another writing sprint on your mark. Get set. Sprint. <laughs> right. Yeah, don't go running. Right sprint. It didn't work. Oh, there it's working. I clicked it. <clears throat> yeah, it's not working. What is wrong with you, timer? I might have to get another timer. Okay, let's see. Huh, yeah, it is not doing it very well, is it? Come on. What's wrong with you? Oh, that's really, really useless. Now it's working. Maybe I had to click out of it? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Our timer is a little weird, but we'll keep it going. Technically, just know it's working. It's just not, oops, so it's not working well. What? Come on, timer. What is that? <laughs> You're right. I, I couldn't stream in a coffee shop. That's for sure. Yeah, really. I, it's like I have to move my cursor in and out to make this thing work. And then it stops again. All right. Now it's doing it. No. <laughs> Well, I think now it's working. I'm looking here and there. All right. And there, it did it again. I'm not really sure what the problem is. Um, I think what it means is I'm going to download a new timer for next time. Yeah, it's really... <clears throat> Now it's really not working. Come on. Don't make Anne mad. really annoying me. Whoa. Now that was actually even the wrong Where's the App Store app? installing a new one. Password required. Did I think the right one? Oh, it's my app app. Jeez. To get a free app, I need my password. My Apple Store password. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so, so very much. That one I do not know off the top of my head. I don't even know if I know it off the bottom of my head. Let's see. No, that's not it. No, 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 no. Apple. Okay. Can't read this. <laughs> it's 
the right one. Let's see. Did it give it to me? Yeah, don't uh, don't notice that clock. It's I don't know what the heck it's doing. I'm basically gonna put 20 minutes on. Allow. RH timer. How to add time. Groovy. Looks self-explanatory. Okay. And I gotta find it. Oh, there it is. RH timer. Where are you? I guess I should have read that stuff about how to make it work. Um, hmm. Okay. I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm pounding my head, don't worry. Now I just gotta find my arch timer. There it is. Ah, there it is. Add time. I'm gonna put 15 minutes. Well, that's interesting. It has a time totally wrong, too. Set. Automatic start. No. Show timers window. Hide. No. Okay, this does have a lot of... Not as easy as it should be. Ah. I think I figured it out. <laughs> I figured something out. <laughs> Let's see. Where is my timer capture? Sorry, I, I, I cut me out for a minute there. I'm trying to find the right one. Ah, there it is. Timers. Not as nice as the other one, but in some ways. It's got a nice color. It's just, uh, it shows you the whole bloody timer, including the white bar. Why? Why, she asked? Uh, yeah, well, let me take that away. Oh, well. This will get us through. Sorry about that, guys. Let's make the most of it. I think that's the correct time. Let's see. Probably not. 40. If I can only do the math. Yeah, it should be about, it should be more like 16 minutes, uh, but let's go, I'll just put in another like 15, let's start from 15, I think that's correct. Oh wow, changes color every time. Yeah, oh that's, that's spot on, that's what it should be. Interesting, pink. Is that hard to look at? It's like the neon pink. Oh well. 
I'll play around, find a better timer in the future, in the near future. But at least it's counting. I'm sure I can set a color. I'm sure. Yeah, I don't like the neon pink. <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't go with my it's clashing with my red. Oh wow. How cool. Have fun with that, Allie. I You'll have to like put a link where we can see you in action. I wonder if I can change the color. I think about it. Color behavior. Saw a color somewhere. Oh, cool. I will do. I think it changes colors during how long you're going. Huh, I have no idea what's gonna happen here. But I click stuff. Yeah. Let's see. <clears throat> cool. All right, yeah, we should I should know someone that's doing write a thons. Groovy, thanks for that. Uh let me make a note. So I'll lose it when this ends. Well, it's in the chat, but let's see. All oh, right. Jessica Williamson. Cool. Well, have fun. I'm excited for you. That'd be great. I'll tune in. Six hour worldwide ride a thon. Well, that only makes sense that it's so long because people need a chance to tune in in their time zone, right? If you did it just in one person's time zone, most people would miss it. Okay. Oh, okay. 2021. Noted. Duly noted. Oh, wow. Cool. <clears throat> so you found me here because you just like Googled it, searched for writing sprints. Hey, see you, Victoria. Thanks for joining us. <clears throat> you have a great weekend and you and I will be in touch, my, my dear. <clears throat> we have to push each other. <laughs> she and I are both working on projects that we're going to swap for help and um, we're both being slow. So that's good, that, you know, but not good. Yeah. Mm. 
Oh, to Devin. I don't know Devin, but thanks, Devin. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't promote this much, so. I guess now that I know what I'm actually, what it is, because when I started, I wasn't sure what this, what it was and who would find me or care to watch someone sitting writing. So I uh, haven't done anything to promote it too much except just to put it on my my Facebook page every now and then because I a bunch of writers are there, screenwriters. Whoa, that music got loud. Oh. No wonder it's a different uh, station. Oh, I am so shaking the camera, sorry. I don't need to hit the keyboard that hard, do I? This is YouTube channel Unwind Station. It is also royalty free background music. This one's just jazz music. And it's much louder, louder than the other one. Okay, all good.
Uh oh, something's beeping. Oh. Let's see. Oh, La Monique. How are you? Hello, hello. You're catching us right at the end, but that's okay. Let's see. I I think I I think I'm at the end of my story too. <laughs> my podcast that I was writing, my fictional podcast, audio drama. My new, new fancy dancy timer is about to go off. Yeah, I think I overwrote past the end of what it should be, so I gotta look at that. I think I hit an ending spot. I need always, it's a, you know, it's a bit of a, the audio drama ends with a, oh, something shocking, so you want, oh my gosh, listen to that. That, that is really quite the timer. <laughs> Ah, I'm gonna have to work on that timer and get something better. Good to see you too, my writer friend. <laughs> um, wow, was that loud or was that just me? <laughs> um, yeah, I, I can hear the playback. That was loud. <laughs> but you know, not necessarily bad. Loud is not always bad. <clears throat> How'd you guys do? Um, let's see, I should save my work because I'm working on a word program. Oh. <laughs> oh, sorry, it's my son. <clears throat> Guess you should respond to your child. Oh, everything's fine. Gotta text my child. How's everybody? How'd you do? <clears throat> oh, thanks for getting the book. <clears throat> cool. I appreciate you. Uh, yeah, that was a loud timer, but fun, huh? Um, <clears throat> you missed it unless you want to watch the replay. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm all choked up. Um, yeah, the timer, the other timer was just not stopped working and it wouldn't run in a right. So I don't know what was wrong with it. I'm going to get rid of that one. We'll try this one. Um, I don't know. I, I need to get in. I'm sure it has settings that I, I need to <laughs> work with. As long as it counts down, uh, I'm happy, right? Without messing up. I spent way too much time getting a new one up there. But that's a story for another day. Thanks for getting my Thick Girls book and uh, would love your feedback. I, I feel like with those books, um, I write them pretty fast. <laughs> and But a as I go, I each book, I, I, I sort of handle it like I do podcasting, that as you go, you just go. Don't, don't apologize for what you did. Just keep going and try to improve as you go. So we'll see. Uh, so input's always good. I'm happy for to, to get feedback and I'll... I'll incorporate it in coming stories. <laughs> oh, um, I just found out about the World Wide Write-A-Thon. That's a bit of a tongue twister. So yeah, I, I'm def definitely going to tune in and figure that out. Um, uh, Allie was telling telling us about it. So I, it's cool that you know. I, I don't know where where have I been that I don't know about the WWW Write-A-Thon. <laughs> or WW. <laughs> it sounds really cool. I'm going to go Google it right now and find it on YouTube. But thanks for tuning in, uh, everybody. And I hope you, if you didn't get some writing done, that you will be getting some writing done soon. And I'll be back on Monday for another writing sprint. And um, so I guess the write-a-thon starts tomorrow, right? Right? <laughs> right? That'll be fun to check out. So um, everyone that's doing that, uh, good luck. 36 hours of writing time. I wonder what you guys are projecting to do. Do you have like a, is it like, um, you know, NaNoWriMo there that you have a goal, to set our goal to attend, participate? Okay, anyway, I look forward to find out more about it. 
All right, guys, have a very, very, very great, wonderful Friday, and I hope your weekend is full of writing time, which obviously it sounds like it is going to be for some of you. <laughs> yes, right, right, right. <laughs> okay, guys, really good to see uh, all your friendly names pop up in the chat, and I look forward to seeing you again in the near future. In the near, near future, 10K for the weekend. Groovy. Very doable. Very doable. Um, so I'll hold that good thought for you and everyone that's sprinting over the weekend. <laughs> Take care.